Hi hey guys, welcome back to channel Belio 21 So in this video guys, we're going to be um, showing you how to clean, uh, how to uh, clean the Opus um, T1's um, power button and power, not power button, um, volume buttons uh, on the top and the um, channel select. We're going to show you how to change, uh, not change, um, clean them with uh, WD-40 as you can see. Sorry about the glare. Show you how to sort it out with them, and then we'll, uh, yeah. So, as you can see, turning them on, that one worked alright, but that one's not been fully cleaned yet. This one, you can probably just hear it, so it makes like a little crackling noise. Now, that noise means that something is just stuck in it, and I'll look a bit closer to the mic so you can hear it. And if I put the squelch on it, it makes it even worse. See, so that noise, but with this one, doesn't do it as much. See? So, this one's not been fully cleaned, but this one came in decent condition as well, so... Yeah, so, first of all, we're going to need this to... Get open the um, switches there. See, it's the Opus C1. They've not been fully cleaned yet. You see, I'm just starting on them to there to get them all cleaned. But first of all, we're going to unattach the antenna, as you can see there. And then, just behind the camera, as you see, it's the same radio. I'm just getting this off to get this off because it's a nightmare to go off. Especially because they're not been cleaned since, I think it's 2017 or 18. Well, 42nd and you see, so I can't really mount. Because of Covid and that going around, I'm going to make sure all my radios uh, are spotless. Because I don't want it. I've been um, any Covid on it. By the way, guys, before I even start this, we've got the, I've just bought some Digix handheld um, as you can see, uh, comment below if you want to see a review on the review on these. I've not seen a review on YouTube on these, so if you want a review, give me a shout in the uh, comments. Probably will end up doing one anyway, so yeah, that, there's that one. And then we're back to the handheld. It's the same radio, same everything. Dull as that noise. Struggling to turn up, so we're going to use this um, spray. Let me just put the tripod down a little bit more so we can zoom out. Okay, so we're going to open that so it's like that. Spray some down the tube. Oh, there we go. It's going very, very fast to get this on, so go like this. You just got to put it on. smoother now which is good that's not enough that, that's definitely not enough a drop of it's not enough there we go that's definitely enough now it's full and by the way it can't harm your radio i don't mean just open the radio and spray it all over the board because it won't have a massive effect but it will damage the radio in some way but just spray these at the top and all that's not a big issue just don't put it where that is there you see it's flammable. Yes, yeah, it feels a bit more smooth than out. Let's try it. See, it's really, really improved now. So that's really good. So we're going to go over the same thing again. This one here. This is just there, that one. Never mind all these. It's wise for the uh, Digix or the D Digix handhelds. Um, but as you see, this one here is in, in as rough a condition as this one. This one's in pretty bad condition. When I got them, um, I bought them as an untested lot, so uh, it was pretty much all in. So I was risking it all, but they did mention that the, um, a few of them worked. So again, come on, a bit more. There we go. This is like. 
literally full now. It's not affecting it anyway. There's only one way you can get in, and that's when as soon as you turn this. There we go, that sounded a lot better. So, doing the same process again, just moving this round and round. As you can see. Still making that little crackling noise, but we'll sort that in a second. Just keep up with this process I'm showing you. And if you need to, just fully close it down and then keep trying it. You've got to be quite fast with it, though. You don't, you don't have to be very fast, but you've just got to be quick so it gets inside it. Right, let's try and get it off again with this. There we go. Fits a lot better. There you go. That's it, guys. Remember when I turned it on before, it was making a crackling noise like this. As soon as I turned it on. So now... Very improved. Now for the middle one, as you can just see there. Channel 1 to 16, as you see there's all the fluid just still going down. I'm just give it a quick wipe so that it's not fluid everywhere. There we go. By the way, if, if you buy it by accidentally, touch that when you press this, you'll get a bit of a zap, which is not fun. I've, I've tried that before. I didn't think it would hurt the first time. I was squealing because it hurt. It's not a lot of power running through, but it gets hot very fast. As you see, all the way up then, and that's working then. No effect to it. So, there you are. That's the uh, T1 power um, volume sorted. On to this here. As you see, this one's a little bit stiff here. It might sound like it's smooth on here, but it's not. It's very, very rough. So. Same process, we're gonna I'm just try and zoom out a little bit, there we go. We're gonna spray it in here. One second guys, I'm just gonna try and there we go, nice. See how it's just going down there now. Then you've got to be fast with this as well, you've got to get the on quick and just not very fast, but you've got to be quick to it's not going to affect it doing this, it's just going to be so curved though. It's already going smooth now, which is good. Very smooth actually, that now. So look, you can just see that. Sorry about the uh, light, guys. It's not the best in here, but you see I'm just moving it. Just to get it, the fluid in there. I might just need only another drop of this, and this one's done. The other one um, doesn't really need to do it. I'm just doing a quick review on this one. That one's pretty much clean on it. That one I need is actually just one spray. But, uh, yeah, as you see, very, very smooth now. But very, very smooth here, might have been tapping it, just very, very smooth now. Bit, bit more solid at the top here. But they've not been using it a while, so lucky to get them all working. Uh, set. Sorry, three of them aren't working. The batteries are flat in all three, but I've got five of them that work. Five out of the eight. There you go, guys. Nice and shiny again. Just make sure it's turned off. Just give it a quick wipe down. There we go. Nice one. There you go, nice and shiny again. See, it's still the same radio. Now we should get a difference. So all you need to do now is just put these on again. Like that. And then and just go to the channel I was on. See look. See look, like I was doing before, go like that with it. But if I do it now, one second. Uh, yeah, that's correct. So just sort of put it on correct now. Yeah, it is. So let's say if we put the squelch on now. See, so much better. Before, when I was messing about with the squelch, it wouldn't, uh, the volume kept going down and up, down and up. So, which is a good thing. Now, not a good thing. Uh, sorry, mix my words up then. Um, it would be a bad thing before I was doing that now. Turn it on and As 
you see there's the antenna. Little focus. The writing's very, very small, the writing, so don't worry about that. It's 47, and I'll just tell you what it is. 400 to 470, so it's like a bell thing. There you go. No difference, everything works. This one's the one that's not being cleaned just yet, but as you say, that one's not doing it, but this one was. So this one's a lot better. No difference. Channel 12. Yep. One, two, one, two, one, two. This one here. This was the one that had the issue. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. There you go. Fully working. And yeah, guys. And by the way, guys, I thought I'd just mention uh, we have just reached 100, 102 subscribers. Uh, which I thank you guys so much for. Um, I haven't quite planned what video I'm going to do yet. So I need some comments on what video you want to see next. I'll, um, oh, I'll do a, um, another video very soon. Probably in a week or two when I've sorted some other, other stuff out I need to do. Um, as you see. There's the Opus and here's the Digix. Uh, if you guys want to hear it uh, now, which is not too bad, it has quite a good uh, DMR. Eight. So, yeah, um, if you want to see a review on that, uh, just message below uh, on the comments. If you can't comment, then uh, if we get 10 likes on this, uh, if you can't comment, just put a like on it uh, if you want, or a dislike if you want to. But if we can get some comments, if you want to see this one in a review, then uh, yeah, give me a shout. I've got three of these to review. So yeah, guys, uh, what are we on? About 13 minutes, we'll finish the video. But uh, yeah, that's how you clean the Opus uh, T1s uh, with some WD-40. It's not always a good thing to use, but it's, it's like an oil, it's like an oily liquid, as you see there. And uh, yeah, it's about eight pound or something, seven or eight pounds, probably at eleven or twelve dollars US. Um, but yeah, uh, if you guys want to see that review of the Digix or the Digex uh, Liberty, the Liberty, yeah, Liberty, um, DMR, then give me a shout. Uh, but yeah, that's how you clean your office radios or any radio um, uh, in this way. You don't have to use this, you can use something else to, you know, open this, but. Yeah, that's that's my way of uh, fixing it because you're not going to want to transmit on the handheld when it's making that sort of noise. You know, when you turn it up and it's just squelching its head off in a way, you know, it's flipping, doing whatever. So, yeah, it's better to sort them out now and in case it's needed in the future, then at least then it's sorted and ready to, yeah, roll. But, yeah, these will all be sorted in a couple of days. I'm just get going around all my radios and cleaning them up with a bit of this fluid here. Yeah, WD forty as you see, and then I'll uh, in a few days get on my radios and start cleaning them one by one. Um, so yeah, guys, what we at? Got well over thirty minutes, but doesn't really matter. So yeah, guys, that's the Opus T one for you. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if it if it helped you in any way, this uh, give us a comment or a like and. Uh, yeah, follow on, follow on me Instagram, it's Bradley, Bradley0212 Instagram. Um, so yeah guys, thanks for watching, and like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video guys.